over the past couple weeks as the world has gone into isolation and quarantine over the coronavirus pandemic. I know it's been really difficult for Christians. There hasn't been this opportunity to gather together. For Catholics, the reception of the Eucharist, the encounter with Jesus at the Mass, is so important. It's, it's what we call the source and summit of the faith. For a lot of Catholics, this has been one of the strangest Lenten seasons ever. But one of the things that's been so good to see is the number of Catholic leaders who are taking their ministries online and creating really great videos and live streams to continue to minister to their parish communities. So I've seen a lot of live stream masses daily, uh, Eucharistic adorations, videos just talking about the experience, prayers and meditations. I think all of these things have been really good in keeping people connected to their faith throughout this time of isolation. So I just want to say thank you to all of the priests, deacons, seminarians, youth ministers, and other lay volunteers within the parish who work really hard to help make these live stream masses and other online videos a possibility. It takes a lot of work and it doesn't come naturally to everyone. So some people I think during this time have had to come out of their comfort zone to make this a possibility. And now here's a little tribute to all of the great Catholic content that's been published online here in Canada and around the world over the past couple weeks. Enjoy. Hey everybody, we're back. I'm here with Father Darren. Good afternoon. Hey everybody, good afternoon. Hope you had a great day of school. Hello and welcome to everyone joining us today. Uh, thank you for coming to St. Benedict Parish, online at least. Welcome to our praise and worship live stream. We're really excited you can tune in. We are living in crazy times. This is the special coronavirus edition. How you doing, Sister Benedicta, Father Cassidy, Sister Danielle, hey. We had a lot of technical difficulties, so I'm sorry about that. But I will expose the Blessed Sacrament and uh, now we will begin uh, the Holy Hour. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Sunday live stream of the Mass. Allow me to begin by expressing my thanks for the many emails of support and encouragement that we've been receiving. Alors, euh, c'est toujours une joie pour moi, pour mon cœur, de près de vous retrouver pour la messe, euh, la messe quotidienne. Euh. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. See what awesome things he has brought on the earth. The mighty Lord is our refuge. Life is not happening or taking place like we thought it should be taking place. Many of us are feeling the effects of social isolation. Many of us feel alone and perhaps even abandoned. So what do we do about it? Trapped in our houses, how do we cope with the disappointment? In the midst of our darkness, the darkness of these days, of this scary time we are in, we put our trust in the one who is our light. It may seem like the world is one. It may seem like coronavirus is one. But the Lord Jesus Christ has won the victory. And so we have so many, many reasons to praise him tonight. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's the most important thing, right? Like our relationship with the Lord is what actually gives us that deep down peace that um, is unshakable, really, even in times of like great, great turmoil. And say, okay, I've got the opportunity now, it's a rare opportunity, to sit quietly in a room alone and wrestle with the deep questions of life. L'Esprit Saint nous rappelle que la parole de Jésus Hors de moi, vous ne pouvez rien faire. 
the Lord will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at a festival. Brothers and sisters, know that God loves you. I hope that you take this time to enter into a greater and greater desire for Jesus and for the church, the life of the sacraments. God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God with your life. Thanks be to God. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. If you've enjoyed this, make sure you like it and share it all around. Let's build up that blazer pride, especially full of prayer. God bless y'all. God bless you. Bye. I had uh, I had chills there at the end as you were preaching vision. Like when we look back to this age, we're not going to be thinking about the coronavirus. We're really thinking about the age in which the church uh, rose up. We can pray. We can always pray. Even if church doors are closed, we have full access to the Father's heart in Jesus Christ, our Lord.